Hey guys, Bushcraft 412 here. I want to introduce you to the Skyray King. This particular model is the 5X. It has uh, five LEDs in it. But uh, this thing, uh, you can buy it in uh, configurations from three LEDs up to eight. And it's uh, quite an impressive uh, beast of a flashlight. So let's roll in some footage of this out in the woods and then we'll talk about it some more. Hey guys, last day of Northern Zone here in New York. And what we're doing, testing out the Sky Ray King. This is a uh, 5X Sky Ray King. And this thing, you would not believe it, just lights up the night. Unbelievable. Very floody light. We'll get into the tabletop. After this, I'm gonna go home and film that. Here's low mode, still very bright. Here's high. Sucker really, uh, really throws. Easily see, you know, 100 or so yards with it, no problem. Despite the fact how floody it is. You can see I'm in some thicker stuff here, so we're going to shut this off and we'll catch you back uh, later tonight for the tabletop. Hey guys, we're back. Now, the Skyray King. This thing, such a simple flashlight but at the same time so complex. Well, where do we start? Let's start out with the basics. This one here is a five LED. They come from anywhere from three to eight LEDs. They typically come as a uh, XML T6 LED. And I think there's, there might be other versions out there, but that's primarily what you see. It has a very simple user interface. You just side click to turn it on. It goes into high mode. Then it has a low mode, which is, you know, probably about 25% and then double click for a uh, strobe mode. Very simple user interface. Run times are really good. I ran this thing for about 20 minutes straight and you'll see in the video that uh, I ran this thing for about 20 minutes straight and it didn't really do too awful much to the battery. The voltage didn't go down much for 20 minutes on high. Um, it's, it, it's a powerhouse. This thing's about 3,000 lumens. And some of the bigger ones, you know, the seven, eight LEDs are even more, you know, five, six, seven thousand lumens. They uh, put out a lot of light. So, cool other thing, cool thing about them too is you can buy different drivers and they're very easy to solder in. So if you're not happy or maybe you just like tinkering, you can change those modes around with, uh, you know, some of those drivers are only five, six dollars out there. And if you're handy with a soldering iron, you know, you can always give it a try. It takes four 18650 batteries. It, uh, you know, the thing worked uh, pretty darn good for me. I haven't had any issues. The only thing I did have is initially when I got it, it didn't work. And I was like super disappointed, you know, because I've read, you know, some about people getting some of these that were dead on arrival. And uh, I looked at it and took it apart. And what I realized was the driver was not, it's press fit in, and it wasn't press fit in all the way. So all the batteries weren't making contact with the board. So pretty much I just snapped it all the way into place and this thing was good to go. But that's mass manufacturing of budget lights. Stuff like that's going to happen. And 99% of this stuff is very just quick. Pop something back into place. Screw something down tighter. Really not major issues. But And again, this is a very inexpensive flashlight. So, Alright, so we talked about the good. This thing's got a lot of power good run time, you know, it's a lot of fun, puts out a big wide, you know, floodlight. What are the bads? Okay, first bad, it gets pretty hot. As you'll see from the video, a lot of, I took this out in the cold, a lot of steam was coming off this, because it does, it gets pretty hot to the touch when you're running it, especially 10, 15 minutes, so bear that in mind. This is not a practical light. This is not something to carry in the pocket. This is, you know, this is a drag racer, guys. Um, two, there's a lot of fakes and clones on the market, so you do have to be careful and make sure you buy from a reputable dealer. Um, three, it is a budget light. You know, as with budget lights, there's always, you know, things that can go wrong. But like I said, I think if you're handy and you're, you're capable of doing some min minimal troubleshooting, you can generally find what the problems are with these lights really quick and solve them. I was just a simple, you know, pushing a driver back in. That was... You know, very simple. 
Um, so what else we got to say? I mean, not as hard to say about this. They're wicked fun. You know, they're really a fun, fun flashlight. There's neat things you can do with modding them, and they're just all around a fun little buy for that, you know, 30 to $50 price range. You just can't go wrong. So there it is. We'll roll in some more footage, and hope you enjoyed. I wanted to give you an idea of the uh, thermal flood on this thing. This is the valley I'm hunting today. Ooh, sorry, I had a breath. I've been uh, quite a hike. Um, that turned over tree you're seeing there is about 50 yards. That big tree there is probably about 150. And those ones way in the back there are probably more, you can see the steam coming off this flashlight, are probably more like uh, 300 yards way in the back there. The uh, throw on this is uh, pretty impressive for how much flood it has. You know, it even lights up your feet. But yeah, this thing puts out a lot of light. A lot of light. I can see this whole valley. You know, the camera doesn't do it justice, but I could easily see 300 yards away with this, no problem. So this Sky Ray King is quite the, uh, quite the light. And it's low. You can still see 150 yards on the low easily.